Hello, uh, my name is Mariusz Nowostawski. I am uh, a responsible coordinator for the mobile computing course IMT3662. So you will be spending a lot of time with me and hopefully with some TAs. I will introduce myself for those of you who never had uh, classes with me. I'm originally from Poland. I lived in New Zealand for 16 years and three years ago I moved to Norway. I've been teaching this course for the last three years. Before me, the course was managed by Simon and you will meet Simon on the lecture on Wednesday. Um, I'm currently in Rome on a conference. That's why I'm doing this recording so I can skip uh, the tutorial session on Tuesday, um, which is moved to next week. So we will not have any class on Tuesday. On Wednesday you will have a lecture with Simon and next week um, we will meet in person. Uh, the class is organized on Fronter. So here you can go to a Fronter page and you see the uh, relevant materials and all the tasks that you will have to do uh, as well as the lecture materials. I currently prepared only material for this week, uh, updated it from last year lecture and I'll be doing it on a, a weekly basis as we move forward. A um, couple of quick announcements. Um, the first one is that I would like you all to sign up to Piazza for this course. This will be our go-to system for recording uh, questions and answers. So the link is here. You can um, click here and then you move to the page like this and I'm already registered, so I don't have to do the registration steps. But if you're doing it, I presume you will be directed to a um, registration page for the Piazza system. We are using Piazza with Simon for other courses now as well. So uh, please install a mobile client and, and use it for questions and uh, announcements. We will be using that. Um, Fronter is a uh, de facto LMS for the course, but it's the last year we're using it because after joining NTNU, we have been, we will be shifting to Blackboard. Um, so one thing, Piazza. The second thing, I would like to get a little bit of understanding of where you're coming from, what is your background, and what you know, and what sort of devices have you used before. So there is a short questionnaire. Um, you go here and click. Um, and you will be directed to a short questionnaire about uh, some of the things related to your background. It's all anonymous, so no, no worries. Um, just, just do it for kind of uh, logistics purposes to, to help me organize the course better. Um, the last thing that I would like to say is that we will use the Wednesday session for lectures and Tuesday sessions for lab and tutorials. So it will be a practical and theoretical kind of components to the course. Um, next week we will try to go as far as possible with the assignment zero. So assignment zero is kind of a preliminary assignment to get everybody sorted with the technology. So please check it on Fronter and get your tools organized. And we will do more of that uh, on Wednesday after the class with Simon this week and then on Tuesday next week uh, to have everybody sort of organized. I would like you also to refresh your Java skills and if you never had Java before to sort of read a little bit, read some tutorials and get basic understanding of what Java classes and interfaces are and how you program in Java because we'll be doing some Java programming for this course for Android. Um, and also, it is required that we will use Git. So all the assignments, with the exception of assignment zero, which doesn't have to be evaluated, uh, will have uh, evaluations done through Git, and you will have to submit your code in uh, Git repositories. So again, if you never used Git before, read some tutorials, get yourself um, accustomed with uh, Git tools and Git commands, and set up a Bitbucket account. Uh, all NTNU students have um, unlimited private repositories on, uh, on Bitbucket. So you can set yourself an account there and um, use that for submission of your, of your code for the projects. In assignment zero, I would like you to set up a, a test environment for uh, 
getting the initial project sort of organized and uh, committed to Git, so then you get accustomed uh, of how to use it. So I th hope that's all um, initial information that you need to get you started. More will be introduced to you by Simon on Wednesday. So see you, see you next week. Bye.